solo future self, or if anyone actually is watching this, which I doubt it because I'm probably sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, I'm going to be the only one watching this, and maybe like one or two of my friends, very close friends, if I, if I, if I make them go and like it. But anyways, uh, you know, I'm bored as hell, and I uh, figured these rough times with this COVID bullcrap, and we're all stuck in our homes. Reminded me of like the end of the world kind of situations. Reminded me of this game. Uh, the best way I can describe this game is probably like uh, you know survival horror Ukrainian slash Russian Fallout 3 and after from 2007. That's the best way I can describe this game. But uh, yeah, this is a Ukrainian game. It came out in 2007. Uh, developed by uh, I think GSC Game World, <gasps> and uh, if you ever put the Metro games, it's kind of the same style, fake Russian accents, uh, well American Russian accents, uh, and it's, they're all they're all based off of like a super old book, the Soviet book I think came out in the 70s called Roadside Picnic, and it's actually pretty sweet, pretty sweet book. Uh, also the movie Stalker, which I think is roughly based off the book too. I, I don't know. I think I saw a YouTube video on that a while ago, but uh, I don't know, I'll uh, hope you guys enjoy it, if anyone actually watches this, this game is pretty sweet, I highly recommend it, and uh, yeah, I really wanted to go back 13 years uh, during this time, because now I have a computer that actually works, and uh, well, that can actually run this game in high settings, uh, and my last, my last computer, I think I had like, I would run it on the lowest settings, and it barely any frames. I don't know. I'll shut up and let's watch this, uh, this cutscene. I'm gonna play on novice because novice. Uh, I'm just playing for fun. Uh, you guys can, if you play play this game, I would maybe, I would definitely start on novice. Actually, I remember the first time I played, I played on stalker because I'm like, oh, that must be the regular difficulty, and not knowing what like how radiation works and all that. Uh, it's I would not recommend it. So yeah, here we go. seems to be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You are lying. Let the zone take me if I am. 
put it here. I think for this one, I can give you. So, marked one, I saved you, and I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. I don't give a shit why you want to find this Trella guy. I mind my own business. If you want to... The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, uh, or I treat you like a real stalker I'll and I'll I give you a mission a straight away. This is your personal PDA. This useful device will help you survive in the zone. And if you do die, others will know where and how. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, let me remind you how to use it. Your tasks can be found in the first section of the... Most tasks have buttons which allow you to access additional information on the task. Remember, each new task is automatically shown on your minimap. Moving on. The second section on the PDA is the map. Buttons above the map allow you to zoom in and out. Um, oh, you, you can also center the map on yourself, and... Uh, uh, I'm sure you'll work it out. It's not very complicated. The PDA also has a contact section. The contact section contains a list of stalkers within 50 meters of you. You can see a brief description, rank, group allegiance, and probable attitude towards you here. Remember that while you're neutral, the way other stalkers feel towards you depends on you alone. Note how someone's attitude towards you changes when you help them. Be careful if enemies are around. They're marked red on the visor. Friends are green and neutrals are yellow. Oh, and PDAs of dead stalkers are gray. Helps if you're into looting corpses. What else? Oh yeah, there's a diary too. Well, uh, what is there to say about it? All the information you need is noted in your journal. And news too. Even what I am telling you right now can be found in this section. And then there's a rating section. You can see the top 20 stalkers I know. I refresh this info from time to time to keep up the competitive spirit. <laughs> Maybe you'll be at the top of this list someday. Who knows? Your own achievements going, are noted in the stat the section. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And then we have the encyclopedia. It contains information about the zone and survival advice which you find or are given by other stalkers. That's basically it, I think. Oh, one more thing. Your PDA model has a wide-frequency radio wave scanner with an inbuilt decoder. Its radius of operation is about 400 meters, so you can even enter submilitary comms. Mine has a working radius of 30 kilometers, so I can always get in touch with you. I'll give you the tasks and the latest news. Initially, I'll give you advice, too. So, is everything clear, or should I repeat? Oh, let's totally repeat that. That was, that was awesome. Got a job for you, marked one. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He certainly knows where that guy can be. All right. That's all for now. Uh, yeah. Alright, so press P for your PDA, talk to Wolf, zoom in to Wolf, whoop, locked in.
eat with fools people, kill the bandits at the car park, get the flash drive. All right, and this is the main objective of the entire game right here. You're, you're the, like the main objective for the entire game right now. I'm pretty sure like for most of the game, uh, like 90% of the game is gonna be killing this guy. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, you're a stalker who's a guy who is a mercenary dude who goes into the zone where there's uh, radiation and uh, try to find the valuable stuff. Well, good hunting, stalker. Like artifacts, crazy artifact stuff, all that. Yeah, sorry if I don't have the best recording uh, equipment or software, I would say, uh, because uh, I looked at some of the videos I recorded earlier. It does not look as good as. I, as I'm playing, but I mean, this game still looks really good for, for uh, uh, 13 years old. But alright, let's fucking play the game. Yeah, exit the run was just pretty weird, as I was going to say. Yeah, like, is, I mean, it has leaning, so, you know, gotta use the F for opening stuff. I need to see Nimble. Would you know where I can find him? Nimble got a raw deal. His group was attacked by some bandits a little ways from here. All he could do was send me an SOS message. It looked like his pals went under. My guys told me these bastards are now at the old car park. The one across the road. You don't go help your own people? Uh, I blocked you one, but that's, what's the use? It's not that simple. I got two people, he doesn't want to lose more guys. So, uh, I can do it alone? Nah, you stand no chance on your own. My scouts are good soldiers, and right now they're right behind us. Together you can make a bigger run for it. What do you think? You got the guts? Of course I do. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. All right, Wolf, send him in. As long as he stays out of the way. Out. Alright, yeah. So... Another thing, uh, don't pull your gun out. Everywhere. People kind of freak out. If they don't, if they're not like your friend. And I don't even know. Yeah, I think your friends don't care. But, uh, yeah, you can befriend people. Uh, whoop. Statistics... Uh, I forgot where the people are, but once you meet more people, oh yeah, see like right here, the attitude, like he was saying, neutral, 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 you can get it to friend, and then they'll actually like, give you stuff, and have your back, like, with uh, pretty much anything. Oh yeah, these, uh, you also get bolts, if you scroll, you get like binoculars, pistol, eyes for inventory, like every game. So right now I got a pistol, that's it, then my suit that I'm wearing, I can click on it leather jacket it's it's fucking it's kind of worthless but uh these bolts i think uh it's like when you're not carrying anything oh you also have a knife too let me see yeah here's the knife Just stab someone right in the back slice them but if you scroll around you get weapons and then you'll eventually get to your binoculars those i think are for like uh uh Detecting mines, maybe I think in minefields you throw them and see if you can hear them. I can't really remember. It's been a while. Does he make it? The guy's dead. Oh yeah. Help me, brother. Take the med kit off the stiff. Thank you, Mark One. You're okay. You know that? I was shocked to tell everyone at the camp that you helped me out. Down, man. Let me fill you in. Crazy, crazy. All 
Alright, so, hello, blah, blah, blah. yes, so many bandits in the camp. There's a shitload, I remember that. Uh, seven or eight, two by the gates, don't want to be late. Uh, and we hate them. Okay, so let's go run after me. Men, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. Yes. Time to move on and be heroes. Uh, another thing, definitely fuck it. Definitely save as much as you can. Uh, because if you die, uh, the, the, the auto saves aren't really forgiving in this game. So we'll do uh, new game part one. The other saves I had there were attempts from earlier today, and I realized after I was like an hour in the game, I forgot to change my fit rate, so everything looked really bad. Like even worse than it does now. Uh, terrible. I think this is the best it's gonna get for uh, this. Don't wish these guys too far up. These guys aren't really well equipped, just like me. They're shocking from these bandits over here, though. And iron sights don't use iron sights that much unless you're using like a scope. So there's iron sights, especially with the pistol at least, it's pretty bad. I'm scared. See, I'm already almost dead. I'm on the e easiest difficulty. No med kit. Perfect. We got, we got some stuff. Sweet. I got a band, two bandages. Vodka. Or the G G S C company. It's the people who make it. Make this game goes down easily. Simply reduces effects of radiation. And bread. Bread will heal you. Food will heal you. Some shotgun ammo. And I barely have any pistol ammo, so this kind of sucks. Gotta pick up something from these dudes. There we go, this And uh, as far as inventory, you can carry a ton of stuff. So you can only sell weapons to the traders. You can sell uh, pretty much everything else to like any any NPC. Slow down eventually. The more that you, uh, like your stamina will go down faster when you run. The more you carry. Vale, but... vale, up there. I either just suck or this game is as hard as I remember it. Or I just haven't got better. Oh, I just take all. Take everything. Screw it. Just take everything. <laughs> From everyone. He's got a shot right now. Just run away. Do I have a medkit? 
Pepper, friend. Okay, but why is he in here? I don't get it. Maybe because the last person I talk, interacted with? Guns. Guns don't show up in their inventory. They just fall next to them, basically. Uh, we don't really get any good guns. Oh, a little bit. Cleared. Returning to starting positions. Out. Out. Oh, that sound is crazy. Crazy good. Ah oh, fuck! I swear, la last uh, my last playthrough, I saved this guy. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know how the fuck they killed him. Maybe I took too long killing everybody. Last time, uh, last time was pretty way easier than I remember. Uh, I mean, uh, way easier than uh, this time around. But whatever. We will carry on. Look how many grenades are in this game. There. Oh, plugs. Do, 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 do. Oh, this guy too. Okay, yeah. Look, he's got a little pot plant on his backpack. Oh, here we go. Smokes. All right. Yeah. Just go back. And yeah, stay away from those. Those are little like radiation bubbles or. Anomalies. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they they hurt you. They don't give you radiation, surprisingly. At least not the the ones I remember. I know that one didn't. Because uh, it would, at least I hope so. Yeah, then your radiation's right here. If your radiation's high, your health will just slowly start going. And uh, you can get like some stuff that's like rat away, like a fallout. It's like just this weird medicine you can get. It's pretty common in this game, but. You, really don't need it uh, if you stay out of radiation levels but sometimes like me uh, when I was playing this morning I walked into a radiation level on accident I used like I used like six med kits and tons of bandages and food and the radiation goes down so like slow Oops. I don't know why I'm going this way uh, I died anyways radiation is pretty brutal in this game Перчатку и полез к соседям в палатку. Полез, значит, и попрошайничает жалостно. Водички, водички попить. А тут из палатки на встречу ему Triforce looking things. Uh, little sashes you see right here. And three medkits. The medkits are definitely useful. I'm sure you guys were get a silence pistol here pretty soon too. I haven't. I, I, only, I only got like an hour in on this game last time, so that's all I remember. After that, it's gonna be pretty rough. I feel. So you're the bag. Listen, Martha, I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelik fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Uh, well, I mean, I'll get my share of our mutual profit. <laughs> so what do you say? Deal. Uh, the, the traitor's a dirtbag. <laughs> All right, listen. 
You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean, we need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see, there's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grants for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. And we really need this stuff. You know what I mean? Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDA. Clear? Uh, yeah, clear. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroprom Research Institute after a few kilometers. And be careful, the radiation level is way too high at the garbage. So I suggest you invest in some anti-rad. Or some vodka. Well, good luck. Uh, some lore here. Tell about the zone in general. While well, the zone is a pretty shitty place with radiation, who is Sterlock? I've heard of a stalker by the name. Rumors is he's one of the few who went to the center of the zone made it back still we got so many of these legendary stories about stalker heroes I can't really guarantee anything. At any rate I've never dealt with him personally it seems he has his own trading channels anyhow just ask the folks here in the zone and you'll be sure to learn a lot more okay now let's I need a job do you know something Okay, so, yeah, I got the new job. Let's, uh, get to the railroad in, uh, embankment. Find the documents. This is, like, an extra thing. I think it's, yeah, super far away. This is how big the map is, by the way. It's pretty huge. We're just right here. We just explore, like, this little area. This map goes all the way, all the way up here. I don't know if you can actually go here to Chernobyl. I can't remember. I don't even remember. I remember Clear Sky. Clear Sky is kind of like the same map, which is the second game in the series, but I don't remember this one very well. Alright, so this is the next mission. Just uh, meet the journeyman. Alright. Well, good hunting, Stalker. Oh, yeah. Let me sell some stuff here, Doom. You just go like you're gonna talk to him. Go down here to trade. Not bad. Uh -oh, Some pretty good up. stuff you've got there. Ah, uh, I should have done that. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, drop by if you I get think any more. I just more. gave all that to him for free. Because uh, he doesn't have any money. He says. Wait a minute. I'm at 1745. Not bad. Oh, no. okay. Some pretty no, good stuff right. you've got. I think there. he just has infinite money, basically. It's the only like the only guy that has infinite money. Okay, Alright, well, like, damn it. Drop by if you get any more. But uh, you want money to buy artifacts for like special upgrades, buy better suits, that's the most important thing. They give you like uh, radiation uh, protection. But uh, I think I'll just stop right here, and then uh, we'll do the next mission after this. Uh, after this uh, video, because this video is already getting pretty long, so.